Your next meeting coming to the stage is open for Miss Lori Kilmartin is very active in the Sacramento comedy scene. Please welcome Mr. Mike Bromberg. Nico Santos, everybody. Yeah. Oh man, great to be here. How's everybody doing? Hi. It's like a great crowd. I am actually from the state of Ohio, and uh, the high school I went to is kind of weird. Our mascot was the elk, which is the stupidest mascot you could possibly have for a school. You know, a good mascot's a predator, like a bear or a lion. You know, because if you're the cheerleader for the bears, you can say stuff like. Okay, guys, let's give the other team a great big bare ground. Everybody goes, roar! So, uh, what are you going to do if you're the elk cheerleader? Okay, guys, let's give the other team a great big elk. Stare! <laughs> it's retarded, right? I see these commercials all the time for these uh, ice shows, you know, like Disney Presents, uh, Jungle Book on Ice, Lion King on Ice. And it seems like every successful Disney animated movie becomes an ice show, and... I saw a commercial for the newest Disney movie coming out next year, which is based on the vagina monologues. Now there's an ice show I like to see. Disney presents vaginas on ice. Pirates of the Caribbean will come out on stage and I'll be searching for buried treasure. G marks the spot. So I moved out here from Ohio last year, and uh, one of my good buddies out in California is uh, on the uh, antidepressants. And it never really seems to work for him. You know, so one time I asked him if I could look at the bottle, and it said on it, uh, side effects for the antidepressant include impotence, insomnia, and depression. <laughs> I thought, how could depression be a side effect for an antidepressant? It can't. It's called the drug doesn't work. And you just paid a shitload of money for impotence and insomnia. <laughs> Depression has said, that's like buying a bottle of Pepto-Bismol and says, caution may cause diarrhea. <laughs> so a lot of people ask, you know, what's the secret to keep uh, feeling young, you know, regardless of your age? And, and I think the, the, the best thing you can do is surround yourself with young people. And I used to hang out with my neighbor's kid all the time, seven-year-old kid. You know, we'd throw the football around. We'd... <laughs> You throw the football around and play hide and seek and stuff like that. Sometimes I like hide the football and he'd go and find it. He loved doing stuff like that. One time I couldn't find the football though. I had to improvise and find something else. So I went to the fridge and I found a, a thing of salami, you know? And uh, well, that was the last time I ever saw the kid because apparently later that day he told his parents that he and I played a game of hide the salami. <laughs> apparently they took that the wrong way. So. 